Once again, sorry as Rams fans, this is not a video for you. Maybe it happens. Maybe, you know, Stroud ends up going to the Rams later on at some point. But we are going to be doing another career simulation here on the channel. And this time it is, of course, going to be CJ Stroud. I think the next one we do, assuming we do another one, would be a non-quarterback just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, Stroud's a bit of a different style quarterback than uh, Anthony Richardson, at least, even though we didn't really use Richardson's athleticism too much in sim. Tried my best with, uh, you know, Buffalo, which, you know, obviously a faster Josh Allen. I don't know. It's, I mean, there's some similarities in, you know, build for Madden, at least. Uh, and obviously in this one, we are going to be looking at Stroud. want to hop right into it because I want to get these videos down about 30, 35 minutes, but you know me. <laughs> of course, I set up everything to where Panthers should take a QB, which in theory should be Stroud, but it is EA after all. You never know. And it is Stroud. So we will be joining the Panthers to follow the number one overall picks team uh, in CJ Stroud, I suppose, in the Panthers. Von Bell, Miles Sanders, rebuild redemption, baby. <laughs> of course, what the team looks like after free agency and all that. Uh, I added the names that they had in real life. I didn't take away names that they added in game. Whatever happens, happens at this point. It's going to be as realistic as possible. There's going to be a ton of teams that don't have the players they should. Uh, who do they draft? Ooh, Martin. Put him at free safety, number one. Oh, but Bell. Why do they have Bell? Is he going to play free safety, I guess? Is he, is he free safety for them, I guess? Probably. I don't know what else. Uh, man, I really want to start Martin, though, but whatever. It's going to happen, so... Team's actually not looking that bad. You know, similar, uh, you know, kind of talking point of uh, our Titans rebuild we just did recently. Check that out. Where Anthony Richardson, you know, would be projected to go to a Titans team that is lacking hard. This team still has decent talent. Uh, Chark, when healthy, is, you know, he's he's a flyer. Uh, Thielen, he's definitely regressed, but he's still a guy that can teach players and still get open. A.T. Perry is a pretty great athlete. Chenault is good in a little bit of time he's played. Uh, the Hayden Hurst move... It's expensive, but, you know, there's talent there. And then offensive line is far from bad. Uh, they added to that line here as well. And defense is not that bad. I also got to change uh, your tour back down to, I don't even know what it is, like 74. I know that is uh, what I always upgrade is his awareness and his power move because they're both 73. Put them at 99 so they don't grab Miles Murphy. And then we call it a day. But, yeah, in case you're new to this, uh, you know, series, this video, whatever, uh, basically, we're just going to follow the career of C.J. Stroud no matter where he goes. We're not going to influence anything by drafting, trading. Uh, the only thing I will influence, I guess I, I say that, it's contradictive, but the only thing I will influence is starting the players that make sense. You know, if they draft a uh, a 75 overall left outside linebacker, but they have like a, like a 34-year-old that's starting over him, I'll start that guy. But outside of that, the AI decides. And let me tell you, Sim's looking pretty fast today. I'm liking this. This is nice. Maybe this video won't take four hours. Still leave a like and subscribe, though, because I'd appreciate it. 12 and 5. And while you're down there, let me know who you'd like to see next. I'm curious to see who you want to see. Uh, of course, uh, I was kind of thinking mixing up no quarterback next time. So maybe a running back, maybe Will Anderson, whatever. Uh, but CJ uh, Stroud, 4,700 yards, 37 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. I think he's star in this class. I'm not sure. Miles Sanders had himself a year, though. A.T. Perry was great. Could go up in dev. Thielen was pretty good for his age. Chark was very solid for considering what he's normally used to getting. Uh, Miles Sanders was amazing overall. It could go to X-Factor. Blocking was great. You know, year one, I usually kind of show the, the whole stats because this is rookie year, but usually I will just go kind of with the offense only because otherwise the video will take super long. Uh, Josh Allen MVP did... Rookie of the year get achieved? It did not. It actually got stolen by his own teammate, A.T. Perry. But in the long term, that actually is probably a better thing because, I don't know, quarterback dev-ups seem a bit more common than wide receiver dev-ups, at least in my personal experience. But here we are going against the Cowboys. I can't imagine a year one Panthers win, but they've been killing it in sim lately. And like we said, not here today. That first game, though, very good performance. Just kind of let down by his team. Other than Chark. Well, let me tell you, EA always makes things interesting. This is going to be a fun thing to do. Let's make him broke, trade him off, make him rich. Also, Von Bell and Shaq Thompson are superstars on top of Mr. A.T. Perry. I suppose the good thing is we don't have to worry about uh, questioning whether AIs sign free agents or not when you're the team they are. Because, uh, boy, did they sign one. I guess let's... Let's do one of these. All right, so I like I said, I want to cut town on the time of the videos. And, you know, this draft isn't very special. And I was just going to kind of, like, update you guys on what happened. But something crazy happened. This is the weirdest draft pick I've ever seen. 
Uh, he's uh, he's pretty good at run blocking. In fairness, he's so bad as a receiver. However, there's uh, there's something to notice about his dev, which is that it's an X factor. I don't know what you do with that guy. Do you basically say to yourself, you have a superstar X-Factor fullback? Because this guy's going to want to be paid like a top-tier wide receiver, despite the fact that he's clearly a blocker. Uh, no playoffs at 10-7, and 7, which is super disappointing. Let's take a look at how the offense played. Stroud doing really well in the scheme. However, a lot of interceptions, which definitely could make an argument, is the reason why they struggled. Sanders with a way worse season. Once again, didn't change the scheme at all, and Perry was in the same spot he was last season, just... A worse year as a whole. Bro, I don't understand what is wrong with this team. Another quarterback. I'm going to have to freaking lower the cap, trade him off. Why are they doing this to me? Uh, Dante Jackson goes to Superstar. May goes to Superstar. Bell goes to X-Factor. And they got rid of Chin. I don't know what their problem is, but they are not doing a smart job right now. So, uh, star dev, star dev, fast, but no star dev. And then I didn't look at the rest of the guys. Another speedy guy, 68. Yeah, another normal dev as well. Oh, in the playoffs with a bye week this time. Once again, change nothing. And I don't think free agency was great because spent a lot of money on Trevor Lawrence. And they still had a ton of money left over, which tells me they didn't really spend much at all. Uh, but a pretty good season for Stroud, better than last year, technically. Sanders, technically better as well. Like to see a little bit more touchdowns for him specifically, though. And Perry is getting scammed here. I'm not sure why. O-line was really good, except for left tackle. Ten sacks allowed is kind of a lot. Burns at 21.5. Brown at 8. Thule at 6. Trap for a rookie, not bad at 5.5. Interceptions were kind of low. I forgot I don't look at this stuff. I've seen the Panthers win and at least make the playoffs a lot, or the Super Bowl a lot. So if we don't see one for us ourselves, we have bad luck. We 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 lost. I, I've seen them go to the Super Bowl a bunch. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm letting I do it, but what's the what's the common denominator? You know, I wasn't them. Now I am, and we suck. So I'm just saying. All right, and the Giants win a Super Bowl. Two hidden development trade linemen. One of them being a full 77 overall. He is uh, 23 in fairness, but this kind of makes me want to draft older players. Although. Overall is misleading because he's kind of trash. Here is the updated team. Not actually looking bad, although that tight end is misleading because especially since I'd imagine they're actually developing blocking. Uh, he's such a waste. He's just terrible. And then defensively, uh, I seen your tour was back, but like, why would we want him to start? Uh, you know, it's still a shambles, but at least Burns and Derek Brown are still around. Playoffs, 12-5 and again, but no bye week this team. Uh, this team, this time... Uh, it's 5,000 yards passing. Ooh, that's got to be MVP. If that's not MVP, I don't know what is. Like, if that's not good, Perry keeps getting scammed. Uh, I will say his yards per attempt have been pretty bad, though. That's got to be MVP. How is that third? I got to see these numbers. I got to see these numbers from Purdy and Mahomes. How are they? What? How do they play better than that? Let's see it. Let's see it. Where? What's the difference? Bro, no shot. EA thinks one more touchdown, three more interceptions, only 100 more yards is better than CJ Shroud. Where's Purdy? Now, Purdy I can get behind because he's a sexy man, of course. <laughs> but the touchdown to pick ratio is better and the yards aren't much worse. But, like, they basically just cucked us. They basically just said, this is better because it's three less interceptions, but three more interceptions? No, no, no. I mean, how many rushing touchdowns did they have? They must have had a billion. Mahomes had four, in fairness. That might have actually been enough. Three for Purdy. How many did uh, Stroud have? Only one. Yeah, I'd say the total touchdowns played a pretty big factor. But as far as pure quarterbacking goes, I actually kind of want to take a look because Stroud should absolutely win that. No doubt about it. There's a no doubter. There's no doubt about it, right? Actually, Purdy... It's thinking about the conferences. Damn it. But Seattle took us out last time. Will they do it again? They will not. The Giants, who just won a Super Bowl, going in their turf, losing the game, sadly. I mean, the team is doing well, but not well enough. Not winning playoff games consistently, and obviously no playoff uh, or no Super Bowl berth. The Giants are back in it. They are creating a hell of a team right now, and they do not win, though. They get smoked, actually. 
Stroud now a superstar, and the uh, defense, you got Hooker, who I don't even know was here, maybe just came here, is now a superstar, or we got him as a superstar, I don't know. Uh, but Preston, who's Preston? Is that the right guard? He must have, did he win Offensive Lineman of the Year? It doesn't say he won Best O-Line, so how the hell is he a superstar? Is there a different way to get superstar that I'm not aware of? Or was he already superstar? Because I don't see, or maybe this was a season ago now. Uh, it's hard for me. Uh, bro, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Was it because he only allowed two sacks? I don't even know. Whatever, dude. He's a superstar. Cool. So this draft kind of sucked, but they ended up with a 77 overall wide receiver who is hidden of element trade. Looking actually really solid. Let's take a look at what that dev looks like. It's got to be decent, right? Eh, maybe not, actually, because he is a high overall, and he is star. Still a good player, though. All right, the team, at least offensively, not terrible, despite the fact that Duvall is just a lot. He's not even, not even close to as good uh, as he seems. Who the hell is this? 65 overall hidden. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. DJ Turner, he goes to every damn team in town, and... I mean, there's some okay players here, but it's like a mix of, like, average old guys, and there's not really many, like, superstars. Oh, not really much has changed, but 5 and 12, not a good season at all. Is this man just not going to win a Super Bowl? Of course, his worst season yet as a pro, even worse than the 21 interception season. Miles Sanders is great again. The rookie was good. People Jones is okay, and then A.T. Perry has been kind of like, uh... Like, one step short of being like Mike Evans every single season. Superstar Dev for Corbett. Not a great draft class of athleticism. Only guy with a uh, hidden, though, is Field, who is star. No playoffs again. It's hard to keep track of when we're making the playoffs and not making the playoffs. Sims take so damn long, I forget which damn day it is. I don't even know what year it is. I don't even know what universe it is. CJ Stroud, better season for sure. Sanders has been pretty consistent. A.T. Perry finally back on top as the number one wide receiver. And there's really no point in looking at anything else. It's maybe we win some awards, but it's not technically, I wouldn't say technically, but it's not directly affecting Stroud, right? You could have the best team in the world, but if they still lose, it doesn't really matter. So, And that's obviously not the case. This team has been filling the team with mid, despite the fact that they have 114 mil to spend. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. It took a little while in our Anthony Richardson uh, career sim for them to start spending smartly, uh, but... That has yet to happen here, obviously, as we're entering, what, season six or seven uh, coming up. And, I mean, we've got some good receivers, despite the fact that Duvall is not one of them. Uh, 86 blocking. What's that blocking? 80 blocking. Look at him go. He's just a blocking monster. I really would love to see how much he's getting paid, unless he didn't get his deal yet. Imagine paying him like a Travis Kelsey to block. Oh, my uh Farley is a superstar didn't really work out like that in our I mean he was a better overall but in our Titans rebuild uh and then Fields easily the number one corner we need so much dude we need so this defense is horrible outside of three players technically the rookie corner as well we kind of show the team here and there but uh this is what the team looks like if you're wondering how it's gone uh offensive skill players are pretty good O-line is not bad obviously there's some uh some dev deficiency on some of them, but also superstar for two of the other guys. DT2, not bad at Benton. Keep Brown, keep Burns, keep Trapp, and you're kind of cooking up. Needed a linebacker. They didn't get one. Cornerbacks are looking a little bit better, though, with a star dev. Speedy cornerback, too. 95 speed, I believe, but he is 5'10". All right, I'm not sure what's different from other seasons, but 14-3. and three. Let's take a look at if this team is good enough to win a Super Bowl. Obviously, it didn't really look like a great season off the first glance. Sanders was better than most seasons. No 1,000-yard receiver, though. And obviously, we would not have won an award Stroud-wise, so there's no real point in looking at that. Uh, who will be the opponent that we play? Please, not the Seahawks. The Rams have finally turned around. That's how long it's been. The Rams are back in the damn conversation. They're by far the worst team to rebuild now, and yet, who lost to them? <laughs> 14-3 team lost to the Rams. I mean, if there was ever a time for Shaw to realize there's no hope, that it was now. I mean, you just lost to the Rams, dude. Like, how? How can you get any worse than that? Sorry, Rams fans. Once again, you're just going to get rolled in all of these sim videos. Uh, you guys won a Super Bowl recently, so you have at least another 5 to 10 years before you know people start making fun of you legitimately. Raiders win another Super Bowl. Was it also again? No, I think they beat the Giants last time. They landed a safety and a running back, both start of Elementary, but that running back does kind of look decent with 92 speed, 95 Excel. He's small, but 
A little bit of trucking, definitely develop that if you were going to play, and then juke move is solid. Seen some regressions with Stroud, but of course, uh, new running back Burnett will be the starter in this one. Uh, I'm not sure why he's showing up as star now, I'm, it's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, take a look at that defense, which apparently this guy's a superstar now. How young is he? 26, he's not really worth using, but... It is what it is. Better to have him than not to have him, I suppose. I don't know when he got a superstar dev. All oh, 59. Holy. 10-7. Uh, we have made it back to the playoffs. A lot of playoffs, just not a lot of success in them. 4,800 yards, 35 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Burnett was awful compared to Sanders. Two 1,000-yard receivers, not including the superstar youngster-ish in Corbett. A.C. Perry, definitely worth the drafting. Can this team beat Seattle? I think we're like 1-1 one and one against them now. I, I don't even know, but it feels like we're always losing against them. Did not this time. Going against the 86 overall Detroit Lions, who are 13-4, and four, and losing by the inverse score of the win that we had. No Super Bowl trip yet, and Stroud is like 29, I believe, maybe going on 30. He's getting there with no dev up in sight. His, uh, his career could be ending shorter than, you know, Anthony Richardson's did in the sim we did for that. Steelers beating the Detroit Lions by 14. Once again, I doubt Straw would have got a dev up, but let's see what kind of maybe... I, would the regression show just yet? I don't even know, but uh, how old is he actually? 29, 30? He is 29, unless the ages haven't hit, then he's 30. But he's getting up there and, you know, really haven't sniffed the Super Bowl yet. Three hidden development trade players don't know their devs. We'll find out after the season's over. Eight and nine, not really. A, wow, it's pretty much been like the same three passing leaders like the last five seasons, it feels like. Stroud with one of his better seasons. Burnett is just garbage. A.T. Perry with a nice season. And Corbett and Lambert were okay. But it shouldn't even be Lambert, right? It should be Greg Hunt. Which, I mean, sounds very close to uh, baiting me out to say other things. But yeah, so far, Stroud not having a better career than Richardson, despite the fact that he had a better starting roster and one could easily debate a way better scheme. So is he the common denominator? Maybe I need to start drafting 23-year-old uh, uh, players more often because Greg Hunt is a superstar. The running back also is superstar. It must have been like a season ago. Didn't really pay attention because you know, he really wasn't playing well enough, in my opinion, to get that dev up. But apparently they think otherwise. Uh, and then Johnston must have been at least a superstar. He might have went up because of a Rookie of the Year award. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Was he already an X Factor? I might actually have to stop being so biased about uh, 23 years aged and just start drafting whoever I think looks good because... We might be missing out on some severe talent. Like, that guy looked really good. All of these players are normal dev, which is such an L. 10 and 7 with a one last hurrah. Who the hell is this? Is it Burns? Is it, is it actually that late? It's freaking Brian Burns! What in the world? Okay, I suppose. And I don't know who this Aaron Stein guy is, but he's like literally the best quarterback in this freaking uh, career sim. Stroud, really good season though. Uh, Burnett, improving. Three wide receivers over 1,000. We take it. Did he win MVP? MVP? Not today, but he was number three, which isn't bad. All right, can we get to the Super Bowl? Lower overall Saints team who don't care. Another 24-21 to 21 game. Three playoff games in a row for us were that score. Saints win the Super Bowl. Did we get a dev up for Stroud? We do. So he's 90 overall X Factor now. And, I mean, the team's still pretty good outside of Burns, like, retiring, which he hasn't technically done, but his overall is low enough to where I don't really care if he does or not. Andrew's now a superstar. And, I mean, you got a couple of decent players. Deron Payne, the 73 overall superstar. No Derek Brown. This team needs trench work. Team goes tight end with their first pick. Uh, another tight end and then a center. This guy actually looks really good, though. I don't know what his dev is. Normal, but 89 speed is always worth it for tight end, especially at 6'5". Ooh, 15 and 2. We're back, baby. Stroud having another really good season. Maybe his best ever because of the touchdown pick ratio. And Burnett, he's the sign of, you know, don't give up. Keep on getting better. And he's better. He's definitely better. Was that an MVP level season? It was, but it was still not good enough. Aaron Stein has been him, and it makes me sad that he's been him while Stroud has been good, but not him. 
Uh, but we'll see. Maybe this is the season he is him, and he's the Super Bowl champion. I don't know. But, of course, going against the Cardinals, 70, uh, 84 overall, 9-8. and eight. We whoop up on them. If we win this game, we're in the Super Bowl for the first time, and we're in against the Colts. Could you imagine if they actually still had one of the youngster quarterbacks? Do they? I'd be very curious. This would be kind of sick. This is almost like what happened in that damn Anthony Richardson uh, sim, and it's not. It's Joey Blackburn. Of course, this could be the only Super Bowl trip we go to. Maybe it's his only win. Maybe whatever it is, we're going to go in. At halftime, it is a super close game, although we just got a bunch of touchdowns. Have the Panthers won this game? It is close. Colts don't give up, but they will, and Stroud will be a Super Bowl champion quarterback. Not bad at all. Really good season, just out of nowhere. Once again, I think the one constant is schemes good schemes will make for good teams uh you know and the team wasn't even that great of an overall we're like an 85 ish overall team uh kind of like where the sliders are for these uh career sims as most teams don't get past like an 88 which is usually what happens in the regular rosters but super bowl champion stroud holding the trophy in a moment here perry's still here you know a bunch of good players are still here that they developed, uh, obviously, I don't, I, well, I don't know about obviously, but I don't think Burns is still here. We know Derek Brown's not here. Chin was long gone. Uh, Miles Sanders was gone. At this point, he'd probably be retired anyways, but yeah, I mean, Super Bowl champion. We'll take it. I honestly thought there was no sign of that happening, but it ended up happening. We got to love it. Of course, don't know how much that Stein guy has uh, done well in the playoffs or the Super Bowl, but Surprised not to, you know, to see him around here. But here's the playoff, uh, you know, situation. Oh, they did beat him. Because I'm pretty sure he's a Bengal now, right? Was he? He wasn't. Who the hell was he? The Browns? I thought it was an orange team, at least. All right, pick 32. They landed a couple of players. Hidden. Hidden development trade. Huge tackle. Uh, Duval, similar to the tight end we had, but obviously a defender. Uh, a little bit better, I suppose. And then they go with a DT. Uh, 70 overall. Far, far from going to be anything good around here. He's terrible. He's 23 as well. Good couple of picks, but everyone else was really, really bad. So it's not like they got some depth. They got nothing. Uh, From Super Bowl champion to playoff misser. Don't know if that's what people say I call it, but uh, decent season. Burnett was, he's getting better every season, which is really surprising. And then A.T. Perry. I wonder what his stats are like. We should really take a look at him too. Uh, Just a quick, you know, stat upgrade you know update for stroud pretty good numbers you know basically a four to one touch on a pick ratio not quite but uh oh it's rushing i was like wait did perry go and even get to see it uh of course perry with nearly thirteen thousand yards 142 touchdowns he's kind of him duvall has 6400 yards though with 31 touchdowns for a guy that is not good at receiving what a waste like what do you put him at freaking lineman he's useless Oh, this is a much better draft class, though. Uh, assuming there's anyone here that's hidden, which I imagine there is. Jerry Patton, the 94 speed hidden dev corner. And then the normal dev offensive lineman. The Texans win a Super Bowl over the Lions. What a situation that is. That's new. Let's see what the dev is, or the overall for Stroud is. Oh! He's taking a bit of a hit. What are those? Uh, he's 34 now, in fairness, but... One to throw power, three to under pressure, four to deep, two to medium... Yikes, 88 throw power. Okay, so that's a bit of a hit. He's an 85 overall now. I don't know what they want to do with him. They were trying to replace him out the gate, so I don't know what they're going to do long term. Burnett, how old is he now? 28. He's pretty insane. He's like uh, kind of like Jamal Charles, if you will. A little bit slower, but you know, the closest I could think of. Uh, and then defensively, Trap's still here, but they definitely need to work on that D-line. This defense is rated so poorly it's got to be the main reason why this team sucks. 84 doesn't even do it justice. Started last season was like a 76. They do go with a D-line. Van, who's uh, 23. I mean, hey, 23 has been kind of like the juice. It's 23 and me believes I should start drafting them. Actually, no, that's a lie. Start Ev. Oh, come on. And then a 74 overall free safety. Don't know what his dev is, but who cares? 11 and 6 back in the playoffs. Been a few seasons, actually, after that Super Bowl win. CJ Stroud is still playing like he usually does. Burnett, like I said, I actually want to see it, but I think he has gone up yards per carry wise every single season as a pro. That has got to be some sort of like record. There's no way that's ever happened. 
He literally went up in de- uh, in yards per carry every single season and had over a thousand yards every single season without any scheme change or anything. Three point four. I mean, up, 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 up. I don't think it's gonna happen again. But if he does it again, that's absurd, dude. And of course, there is no AT pair anymore. The receivers looked terrible but we are in the playoffs unlikely chance but there's a chance nope Stroud's still here but he is now an 81 overall which is he's 35 so it makes sense he's regressing like a mof 13 and 4 on top of the division of course uh you know we're talking about how like it feels like we shouldn't be where we are uh but a lot of the other teams are struggling to progress as well did he do it no shot this is impossible and i know you're probably thinking to yourself like yeah, he's getting better every season by overall, so clearly. But no, it's not how it usually goes. I'm shocked, and we'll take it every time. MVP, number two. I actually wonder, because we haven't really paid attention to him fully, fully, at least awards-wise, because you kind of get the gist of, you know, you know, you do it long enough. You figure out who's going to win an award or not based on their stats, and... I don't know, maybe he won an MVP at, the, at some point, but we're going to have to find out uh, the old-fashioned way. Ugh, another loss. Let's check now, just in case. He's an 82 overall. He's going to regress more. Got to make sure that we see the stat line before that happens. So, don't know how that compares to Anthony Richardson, but I believe Richardson got to, like, 80-some thousand yards and, like, nearly 700 touchdowns. Uh, but, of course, let's take a look at Stroud. Anyways, definitely not going to be able to surpass him unless he wins another Super Bowl. Uh, as he did not even win one MVP, let alone Anthony Richardson's, what did he have, five? Maybe six MVPs with a Super Bowl win? And multiple trips, if I'm not mistaken. 76 overall now for Mr. Stroud. Those uh, regressions have been very insane, dude. See what they did in the draft. Uh, if it's not quarterback, it should be Stroud at starter again. Ooh, 91 speed middle linebacker. You'd love to see it. Hidden development trade on top of it. Great block shed. Decent zone coverage. Solid jumping. And catching for a rookie, I wouldn't say solid jumping, but you know, average, I suppose. But jumping or catching is a little bit higher. Looks great. Stroud has one more chance. I mean, uh, he could still be here next season, but eh, I mean, it is overall. It wouldn't surprise me to see him retired. Uh, we have to look at that Stein guy before we're done as well. But one of his worst seasons, but still very good for his age and overall. Uh, Burnett finally had a worse season than going up and up and up for yards per carry. And receivers are pretty basic, so. Here it is, bye week, Stroud. Did it last time with a bye week? Can he do it again? Going up against the Philadelphia Eagles, who actually beat us last season, I believe, with the playoff berth. This time we win, though. The Rams, they beat us once before as well. And they do it again. No, that hurts. See what his last performance was like. Because, once again, I assume, if not replaced... Uh, you know, if he doesn't retire, it would be replaced. And wow, that, yeah, that, I mean, this, that kind of gives me Drew Brees vibes a little bit. You know, they have a chance technically. No one really believes in him and the age just fully shows, you know, it's, I think it's done for him. I think he's out of here. And I was looking at the draft, came out to see how the roster looked and, uh, there is no Stroud. Look for the retirement. I don't know why I didn't look at that sooner. It wasn't there I've realized that he has shipped teams and is somehow the starter there. Mr. Stroud, what overall actually is he? 73 overall. Feasible enough, I suppose. All right, this has got to be the last season for him, right? He's got a you know a bunch of depth at all these receiving positions, but not the greatest group. Uh, and I didn't even notice that. Burnett actually followed him. That is absurd that that happened. I don't even know how that happens, to be honest. Uh, and then looking at defense, they got a really nice free safety. It's not the best roster. I can definitely admit that. Not the best roster, but we'll see if they have the juice to give Stroud one last hurrah. They made it at 7-10. and 10. I got to show you guys winning cheat because that is, I mean, that's kind of absurd that that happened. Like, wow, what a loss, uh, losing streak. But let's take a look at the Cardinals. Were they the second team in the list? You know, no force wins or anything like that. Like I said, I don't have a horse in any of these races. I don't really, you know, I care, but I don't care in the sense that I would cheat for the win. Uh, but let's take a look at the stats. Stroud still looks good, so I don't know why you would, I mean, I don't know why he would retire unless he just wants to, but let's see it. Can he win a final ring? The Saints, kind of our kryptonite, if you will. 
in these playoffs, and uh, they win. Eagles, please. Oh, losing to the Eagles by six. A hell of an effort. Let's take a look at those stats, because let's be honest. This is his final season. It has to be. There's no other way. Just under 80,000 yards. Just over 658, which, if you add the rushing touchdown, still doesn't put him at 700 total, but very close. Just under 200 uh, interceptions uh, total. 68% completion percentage, just under 300 yards per game. 108.3 pass rating, which is pretty solid. Longest in his career was 95. Average yards per attempt, 8.4. Burnett, really good rookie, or was a good, really, you know, CPU, if you will. Ended up with a 4.3 yards per carry. Definitely boosted that up quite a bit. Kind of crazy that they end up with another white wide receiver that's, you know, very solid like Cup. Don't care about anything else, obviously. But let's take a look at his uh, awards, I suppose, before we go off on that. And then, obviously, the legacy score. So this is what, how his, you know, seasons went across the board outside of, like, two seasons. Pretty much 4,500 yards per season. Uh, touchdown to pick ratio, obviously we already knew was really good. Uh, that's pretty much that. And then the awards, no MVP. Got best quarterback once, seven Pro Bowls, but no MVPs. Zero MVPs, but he did win one Super Bowl, which is pretty cool. So definitely not as good as the Anthony Richardson career sim, but still ended up with a Super Bowl and a very good career nonetheless. Stein with three Super Bowls, three championships, 13 yearly awards. What about Shroud? He's at 40,000 uh, legacy score. Doesn't even come close to some of the other guys, though. So uh, that's pretty much going to be that for uh, the CJ Shroud career simulation uh, video. Burrow ends up with the most yards all time. Stein ends up with just under Stroud. Don't know if he's still in the league or not, but I didn't see him on the top of the list. I figured he wouldn't be. All right, let's see it. Did he actually retire? And he did. 17 seasons, which I believe is the exact same as uh, Anthony Richardson. I mean, you expected it. He's like a 72 overall or something like that. That's that's him. That is, like I said, the career simulation of C.J. Stroud. Not as good as Anthony Richardson, but still a Super Bowl winner himself. Will we get any of these sims to get more than one Super Bowl? Will anyone even come close to chasing Brady? I don't know, but of course, like I said, the next one we do, I would like to do a non-quarterback. So if you have any ideas you want to see the most, you know, maybe Robinson, maybe Anderson, uh, maybe like Quentin Johnson. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. And that's pretty much going to be it. Thanks for watching. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, really appreciate your continued support on the channel. And hopefully this video wasn't super long. Uh, but that's about it. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, P Care Plays for non Madden content, which we would have had the uh, Hogwarts Legacy finale yesterday. So check that out. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you come back for next video. But until next video, look at that salary cap. See ya!